Alright guys, so <clears throat> this will be the last uh, video for uh, repairing the uh, afterburner 2 cabinet. have the PCB here. I'm going to be pulling it out of the cage, so I'm just kind of recording here of uh, where these wires go. I'm going to be sending uh, this PCB here to Ken Westerfield. He wants the board only, no PCB feet, no wires, no nothing but the PCB itself. So that should be good enough for me to check back on guys, but all right, so I'm going to pull this out of the cage and uh, get it packaged up and get them sent to him. Uh, when this comes back, we'll unpackage it, put it back in this cage, install it back in the machine and check it out and maybe play a, play, um, you know, a game or two. I gave 50 bucks for 50 bucks? No, no, no. This is a Rochefoucauld, the thinnest water-resistant watch in the world. Singularly unique, sculptured in design, handcrafted in Switzerland, and water-resistant to three atmospheres. This is the sports watch of the 80s. $6,955 retail. You got a receipt? No, it tells time simultaneously in Monte Carlo, Beverly Hills, London, Paris, Rome, and Stad. In Philadelphia, it's worth 50 bucks. All right, guys, not sure where we're at or even what footage I've taken anymore. But here's the box from uh, Ken Westerfield out in California, the Sega guy. And in this is my now working uh, Afterburner 2 PCB. So I'm going to open up this box, put the feet back on the PCB, and mount it back in the cage. All right, got the uh, PCB unboxed. So I was just kind of checking it over. Um, yeah, so going to put it in the cage now and then we'll get it put in the machine and fire it up. Maybe play around, see how it looks. Alright guys, so here it is, got the PCB installed, got it turned on, all the graphics glitches are gone, nice and clean, uh, plays great, uh, got a few other things I want to do with it, I got to put some locks in the front door, uh, I think I want to take the bolts out of here. And put a little drop of Loctite on and put them in there because it seems to have rattled loose. Uh, I gotta put some T molding there. And then uh, I think that's gonna be about all I do with this machine. It's running good, that's what I wanted. Alright, thanks, Ken. Do a great job. Alright, like, subscribe, stuff like that. Peace.